We love hip hop. Hmm. I'm going left a little bit. Okay. And this is the. I wish I I should have done this on Rumble. To be honest, I ain't gonna lie to you because this I'm 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 treading on murky territory. But I want to start bringing some people to the table, and bringing some topics to the table. Um. And salute to Dusty Wallace because these are topics that I could definitely address later on with him. But do you guys know who Kenneth Law is? Hmm? Kenneth Law has 21 deaths linked to him. Okay? Selling a lethal product. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. So this is the gentleman right here. There's a new story that's attached to this. And I will play it for you right now. One second here. We're probably going to get an ad. They say it could see the future. And it can live for decades. With outstanding safety and longevity. One second. Let's get through the ad right here. And then let's get to it. Let's get it. The number of dead potentially connected to a Mississauga man charged with aiding and abetting suicide continues to climb to now at least 21 people. Kenneth Law was out of Brampton court today, and as CTV's John Woodward reports, his involvement is being explored in cases around the world. This surveillance image at a hotel just outside London in the UK is the last time anyone saw Tom Parfit alive. Two days later, panicked cleaning staff called for an ambulance. He checked his pulse. There's no pulse. He's white as a ghost. Parfit, a second-year university student, was found next to this package from I'm Time Cuisine, one of the companies that police in Canada have linked to a former chef, Kenneth Law. Law was charged with two counts of aiding and abetting suicide in Mississauga. Peel police have said he sent 1,200 packages that may have included sodium nitrite to over 40 countries. The substance is normally used to cure meat, but in large doses it can be fatal. Police across the world have followed the packages to their destinations. In London, the Metropolitan Police say in a statement it has traced a number of people who are safe and well having purchased this substance from the suspect. They are being referred to local support services. There has, however... Hold on, let's pause this for a second. So, are y'all following what's going on here? This guy, Kenneth Law, has been linked to selling packages out of this uh, from this company called... Um, I'm Time Cuisine, okay? Now, the I'm Time Cuisine, they're not the ones who are in question, okay? Let's, let's get that clear. They're not the ones who are under, under fire, okay? So let's not put any slander on them, not too much on those guys. However, this guy, they're saying maybe taking specific packages and adding an extra little something, something, for people by request okay he's not spiking people's things people want this been a number of individuals identified as having received the substance and who have since died also in the uk the avon and somerset police say we had nine names provided to us one of whom has sadly died British media are reporting that a coroner's inquest has linked another man, Tom Windsor, to the substances. According to news reports of the inquest, in that case, the 29-year-old called for help but died on the phone before an ambulance could arrive. All of that adds up to at least 21 deaths CTV News is tracking. In now, don't get me wrong. Some of these guys didn't know, what, didn't know what was going on. But from what they're saying, from what I was reading in the article earlier, these are... Um, how could I, what word can I use for YouTube? Self-termination. These are requested self-terminations, okay? Assisted self-terminations. In the UK, the US, Canada, New Zealand, and Italy, many of them in their 20s, one as young as 17.
Law appeared at a Brampton courtroom Tuesday by video. Lawyers are setting a date for a special bail hearing. He has pleaded not guilty to the charges in Canada. Windsor's death in June of 2021, months before Parfit died. Records show officers investigating Parfit's death emailed I'm Time Cuisine, but never heard back. I miss dun, dun, dun. every day. Parfit's father, David, has told CTV News he wishes British police had made connections earlier. So I don't want other people to go through this. Parfit hoping this investigation can get more scrutiny over any toxins sent to young, vulnerable people instead of the help they need. John Woodward, CTV News. And if you have a story you'd like us to invest... So, this guy, if I could find a picture of the guy here. Hold on. Where am I? This guy is playing Grim Reaper, basically. A lot of these young people who are hitting him up, and listen, for anybody who's, and trigger warning for anybody who, who um, is dealing with mental health issues, who are thinking of unaliving themselves, you know, seek help. There's a lot of different, um, you know, therapy, talking to people, and there's helplines, okay? Um, I'm not going to pull up the helpline, but please seek help. But this guy right here is, I guess, young people are able to get in contact. Allegedly, they're saying young people are getting in contact with him. And requesting for him to add this little extra something, something into the um, iMate packages. Okay? So he's assisting in these people's unaliving. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, entertainment. This is not only in England. It's, it's, he's done it over here in Canada. He has 21 people. 21 accusations, okay? This is like... We could maybe call this guy a serial killer, possibly. But not because these people are requesting to have, like, I guess this service done. This is why I told y'all we're, we're, we're treading on murky territories here. Okay, hold on. When it comes to um, stuff like this, Canada is not an, um, no stranger to this. You know what I'm saying? I know that they've um, passed different levels. I can't say completely. But they pass different levels that they're not allowed to do in the states when it comes to assisted um, self-termination. Okay? Because I got to make sure I, I follow these YouTube guidelines. I'm not, they ain't playing no games. Okay? And plus, this is real shit. This is like real stuff that we're talking about. But Canada is not completely against um, having these types of, of, of procedures done. Okay? We can get into it a little bit deeper. I can pull up some articles, but it's not not allowed, okay, over here in Canada. You can go, and if you have a certain level of uh, terminal illness, um, <clears throat> if you're at, like, a certain point of life where you don't feel like, like if you're in a vegetated state, different things like that, you could request to have a self-termination happen in Canada, okay? They passed these laws not that long ago. You know what I'm saying? You don't even, like, peace, love, you don't have to fly to Mexico. You could get it done right here. And we got health care. We got free health care. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they're going to charge a little extra for that because that's like a, a special, like, you got to go to a specialist for that. But, like, the way that they do it here, and like I, once again, I'm gonna tread lightly. It's like a, and without me doing the extra research to refresh my mind, it it's obviously not some wild process like where it's like uh, traumatizing. It's a it's a peaceful process. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yo, um, catch twenty two. 
We'll chat about that later, Dongles. We'll chat about that later. Right? But straight up, like, it can be, you know, with this, when you have laws like that, this guy's not in England. He's done this all, it's an international thing going on, but he's right her in the GTA. -er. He's in the six. Right? Do y'all agree with this type of thing here? Or do y'all think that, you know, Canada's gone a little bit too far? Because in the States, they ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could pull it up on the screen. But, like, I know once I start pulling up words like that on the screen, YouTube starts going crazy. Like, yo, my God, what are you talking about? What are these things, your images are pulling up? All right? So I could just have this Goofy's face on, on the screen. Actually, I can't even call him a Goofy because the people who are requesting this, this is what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he's going around um, taking people's lives and they didn't want it. Obviously, their family members don't want it. Nobody's family members like want to hear about this after. Like, this is what you wanted to do? What the heck? You, we couldn't talk about it? But... You know, for the people who don't want to wait or don't fall underneath the um, the different categories that I named before, because I didn't name all the categories. I'm sure there's way more conditions when it comes to what it deems to pass to say, OK, I can go and get the service done um, and it can be handled by handled legally by the city wherever you live in or just by the country of Canada. OK. When it comes to stuff like this, you have to be able to check off all of the things for them to say, yes, we'll do that for you. We'll help you self-terminate. Like, that's a big deal. You can't just be like, okay, well, you know, I feel kind of, I don't feel good today. Can I get one of those? Can I get it tomorrow? Like, no, it's, this is your life. You know what I'm saying? So as far as, the country being able to allow that, I'm sure there's a lot of different things that need to be checked off. There's a lot of, and not just a form, like you have to go through a lot of checks and balances before they say, okay, sure, we'll do it for you. Just relax and we'll handle the rest. Like to me, that's wild. Like I get it. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've dealt with it to a degree. Um, you know, just to get a little personal with y'all, my mom, when she was ma making um, her will and stuff like that, or remaking her will, and even she would tell me, you know, at times and stuff, hey, if I'm ever in a vegetated state, just, and like I'm on a whole bunch of life support and all that type of stuff, no, 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 I'm not trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying exactly what she said, because of YouTube guidelines, but she's, she didn't want to be living in a vegetated state. So I can understand that. Okay. I get where people are coming from, but these people that, um, this guy is being, um, being charged with are young people. Okay. Um, some of them are older, but for the most part, we're talking about young people who have their whole lives ahead of them. You know, they might be dealing with some mental health issues, some depression, different things like that. And they're like, yo, fam, just send me the extra package. I don't feel that he has the right to make that decision if, you know, he is guilty of doing these things. You know what I'm saying? From there, if you're like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Oh, you, oh, you need that done? I'm your guy. You're a little bit of a serial killer, my guy. You're a sicko. You know what I'm saying? I could understand if you work for the government at this point, but even if you work for the government and that's your job, that's a wild job, fam. Holy. I'm even going down this rabbit hole too deep, and I'm like, like mentally thinking like, Jesus Christ, who wants to work for the city of wherever, city of Toronto, city of Calgary or whatever, and you know what I'm saying, or the, the federal government, it's because I'm sure that's more of a federal thing and say, you know what? Yeah, I'm in charge of helping you out. 
sleep forever type thing. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, nah, I don't want that promotion, fam. Let's let let Charlie get it. You know what I'm saying? Charlie's been doing way better than me. He's the right guy for the job. I don't think I can handle that. What you mean? You're gonna get paid an extra? Uh, uh, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna go from fifty thousand a year to one hundred fifty thousand a year. <sighs> Holy, actually now, that's a pretty big boost. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure they're not offering those types of money. Like, bro, we'll add an extra 100000 um to your to your paycheck per year if you take the job. Like, those things are not happening. That's a super hypothetical. But if it did, let's not go there. We love hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop.